The Saiyans faithfully served the tyrant Frieza in his bid for universal domination. But little did they know, all the while, Frieza was planning to betray them. Now, having witnessed the murder of his comrades and the destruction of his home planet Vegeta, in order to honor his fallen friends, in order to turn the tide of fate, Bardock has gone to confront Frieza alone. Throughout the universe, the Saiyans were known as the ultimate warrior race. And from this proud race, one warrior rose up to challenge the might of Frieza, Bardock. Tora and the others really went on a rampage this time, huh? For many years, the Saiyans had faithfully carried out the tyrant Frieza's orders. Until one day, on a routine mission for Frieza, Bardock arrived to find his Saiyan comrades slaughtered. What is this? Tora, what happened? Tora, a fellow Saiyan warrior, told Bardock of Frieza's betrayal. Stocks! And now, it's your turn. I think the fight taking place right now is supposed to happen in a place called Planet Meat, but they had limited resources to work with, so you know. The narration in the beginning is also a bit misleading. It says that Frieza planned to betray the Saiyans all along, but that wasn't the case at all. The Saiyans were pretty useful in getting planets conquered for Frieza, and they were some of the strongest warriors in his army, but that was also the issue. Frieza eventually found out that Saiyans grow stronger after every fight, because Bardock, who was originally a low-class warrior, had grown so strong that he could take over entire planets very quickly. And they debated whether they could still control the Saiyans if they grew stronger like that. And they ultimately decided no, they couldn't, so they're gonna blow up all the Saiyans. Bardock only found out about Frieza's betrayal after he fought Frieza's goons on Planet Meat, which is the fight that's supposed to be happening right here. But it's not, because you know they had a budget to work with. Before this fight, Bardock and his squadron had previously conquered another planet. After they believed that everyone on the planet was dead, one last warrior ambushed Bardock and gave him the Curse of Foresight. And he saw that Frieza would betray his race, but he shrugged it off. Until he came here to Planet Meat and fought Frieza's goons, who had already killed his comrades. And while this is happening, Goku is getting ready to be launched to Earth because he's weak and Earth is the only planet that he could possibly take on. So yeah, there's some stuff missing here, as there always is, but, uh... A few chronological events about the Bardock episode in particular get a little weird in Tenkaichi 2. I mean, it was a special. It was a TV special, but that's basically an episode, right? Frieza probably assumed that Bardock wouldn't be able to make it back from this fight or make any difference at all. Because after all, no matter how strong the Saiyans are right now, they're nowhere near a match for Frieza. You know, I wonder if the word meat even meant anything to the people of Planet Meat, the Mishans. I wonder if that word even meant anything to them. Did they name their planet that because they thought it was funny, because they thought it was appropriate, or does it just not mean the same thing that it does elsewhere? <laughs> I'll crush you! I'll blow you away! This is it now! There was no doubt the soldiers who attacked Bardock were Frieza's henchmen. Why? After witnessing the murder of his comrades and suffering attack from Frieza's men, Bardock's worst suspicions were confirmed. <laughs> Tutoria! Why? Why are you doing this? 
My memory ba may be slightly foggy, but I don't remember there being a fight with Dodoria so much as Dodoria opened his mouth and blasted the fuck out of Bardock, and then Bardock died. Well, he didn't die, but he was presumed to have died. He looked pretty dead at the time, is what I'm saying. So yes, the fight with Dodoria didn't go like this at all, but that's par for the course for Tenkaichi 2, really. Very rarely do the fights match up with what actually happened in the show. Or manga. Now, in the original Tenkaichi, you had to finish characters with certain moves or fulfill certain objectives or else you wouldn't win the match. And I think a lot of people complained about that, but I think it's a lot better than what we have here. Now, granted, the story mode in that game is a lot less extensive and interesting. And the mechanics are a lot less polished as well. But you have to give credit where it's due, and it did do the fights a lot better, as far as fidelity is concerned. Tenkaichi 3's story mode has a lot of similarities to the first, but uh, 3's story mode is way, way shorter, and they cram a lot of big moments into single fights. So I thought this was the best one to show off, because it includes all of the movies, all of the sagas, and pretty much every fight in the entire series. It's just that the fights aren't always faithful, but you can't have everything. What a disappointment! I was hoping to have a little more fun! With the fate of the planet Vegeta, and that of his son, Kakarot, hanging in the balance. Bardock shouldered the weight of destiny, and went to face Frieza alone. Frieza! So now we have to fight Dodoria and Zarbon. And, uh, Bardock never fought Zarbon, and I'm pretty sure he didn't fight Dodoria a second time either. But they only had so many characters in this game, alright? Is 120 not enough for you? I guess they could have just made us fight more clones like they did in the very first fight of this, uh, saga. Maybe they thought that would be too repetitious, though. So there were two animations made about Bardock. There's this one, which you could consider canon. I mean, there's no reason you couldn't. But then there was one called Episodes of Bardock, or Episode of Bardock. And Episode of Bardock was a what-if story where Bardock survives against Frieza, and he goes back in time or something and fights one of Frieza's ancestors and turns into a Super Saiyan. Episode of Bardock was originally a three-chapter manga based on the Dragon Ball Heroes video game, so it has a bit of a history, a bit of a weird, slightly distorted history. I mean, Dragon Ball Heroes is a really weird thing to draw inspiration from, because it's a really weird thing. Unlike almost every other piece of Dragon Ball Z media, Episode of Bardock was not dubbed into English by Funimation, it was subbed into English and released as part of Dragon Ball Z Connect on a bonus disc. I think that says something about how awkward Episode of Bardock is, but at least the animation is very pretty. But back to what's happening, something else this game missed is that after Bardock learns that Freeze is going to destroy Planet Vegeta, he tries to warn the other Saiyans, and the other Saiyans just laugh him off. So he goes alone to fight Frieza, a single lower class warrior against Frieza's entire army, and he succeeds in taking out a few of them, 
and manages to drag himself all the way up to Frieza's ship. And it's really depressing seeing him fight so hard because you know he has to lose. Get lost! <laughs> Single blow, Frieza brought Bardock's desperate struggle to a bitter end. In an instant, the Saiyan race, the planet Vegeta, and Bardock were wiped from existence. But as he slipped from consciousness, Bardock saw a faint glimmer of hope. Hear me, my son. You must be the one to avenge the Saiyans and the planet Vegeta. Bardock's battle against tyranny is over. However, his untimely end marked the beginning of the legend that is Goku 